I grew up farming near Pairoa in the Kranghiki Gorge where my parents owned a dairy goat farm and later agricultural businesses. I studied early childhood teaching after leaving school and taught in Rotorua and Tauranga before moving south to live in the Mackenzie country and settle in Geraldine. I began my dairy farming career in 2010 with my now husband Jono. We took on an equity partnership in North Otago and we also share milk that partnership. We now farm a thousand cows at Valletta in Mid Canterbury and run nearly a thousand head of young stock on the runoff block straight opposite the farm. I'm married to Jono and we have three outgoing girls. Kirsten will be 14 in July, Trina is 11 and in her first year at Mount Hub College and Lavinia is 7. Both Jono and my family are in the Bay of Plenty so we make frequent visits in the summertime to the North Island. Dairy Women's Network for the past four years. In this time I've attended all the learning modules helping with promotion and delivery in our community. I've led social events to support dairy women to connect. Some of my favourite events were the Gumboots to Glamour evening and there's more to life than ice cream. I've had the pleasure of working alongside a number of different regional leaders across the Canterbury region. The new hub leader in Canterbury and working closely with network partners. I've been involved in initial sector collaboration between Primary ITO, Dairy NZ and the Young Farmers and I am the regional leader representative in a Dairy NZ project focused on building future workplaces with John Greer. I most recently have been involved in the development of the workshop Supporting You and Your Team to Thrive which is now available as a series of four webinars. My husband and I are actively involved in our Dairy NZ discussion groups locally, hosting one on farm last year around reproduction in Canterbury. We've been part of Biz Pro and Mark and Measure as well. I was the Dairy NZ coordinator for Dairy Connect in Canterbury, supporting farmers to access mentoring and support from experienced farmers around a specific challenge or idea they were pondering. In this role, I work closely with the consulting officer team in Canterbury, supporting them at such events as People Expo, Farmers Forum and Biz Start. I also attended a wide range of dairy events run by other organisations, including Dairy Business of the Year. This year, I was invited by Sinlay to work alongside the Dairy NZ People and Milk Smart teams to facilitate one of their groups at the Lead with Pride Focus Day. I shared our people strategies and policies on farm for achieving nine hour workdays and efficient milking times consistently. I've also been involved with our local high school to support them with practice interviews for students wanting to look at careers in the dairy industry. I'm actively involved in the online groups and share our own farming story on Facebook and Instagram. Over the past two years I've become a qualified coach and worked with a small number of farmers to improve their self-awareness and leadership on the farm. I have a deep care of the environment and wellness for people so I really love to learn about these subjects. Uh, to relax I enjoy doing yoga, going for bike rides and walking in the bush. I love pretty much anything outdoors so camping, tramping, um, water sports and snow skiing are all favourites of our families. I really love to challenge myself and have a huge number of adventures. I love to explore anywhere new and meet new people. It will be a huge honour to be the first regional leader of the year. I fully support Dairy Women's Network in acknowledging the valuable contribution all our volunteer regional leaders make to their communities and our industry. These women are all passionate and inspiring. Personally, I have a real passion for helping people to grow, so I'd relish the opportunity to attend the Women's Leadership Synopsism and access the mentoring from inspiring and successful women in business and leadership. 
For me, I would like to grow my coaching skills to support others in the dairy industry. I would like to learn more about emotional intelligence and how to use self-awareness to grow strong leaders and positive team cultures on farm. My goal is to support regional leaders with a mentoring program to grow themselves as leaders in their communities and our industry. Favourite dairy product is Gouda cheese, the one with the cumin seeds. As a family we went to the Hokitika Wild Foods Festival a couple of years ago. I tried all sorts but the most memorable for me was the Hoo Hoo Grubs. Raw they have a bitter flavour and the texture of peanut butter and cooked they're starchy like a potato but flavourless. Firstly I'd love to have my sister Serena. She is my best friend and such an inspiration to me as a person. She has overcome huge challenges in her own life and followed her dream, building a successful skincare and natural health business in Tauranga. And she's just so fun to hang out with. Secondly, I would love to have Maya Angelou. She's the author of my favorite quote, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but they will never forget the way you made them feel. This is a mantra I try to live by. I'd love to learn more from Maya and hear all the stories of her inspiring life. I really love that she believes in language for communication. Lastly, I would love some live music for my husband and I to party to in lockdown. So I'd love to ask the Foo Fighters. I love their music and I think Dave Grohl would be an inspiring and super fun person to hang out with. <laughs>